Good morning, Shabbos, everyone. Erev Yontif, Erev Shabbos. It's so exciting. All the preparations getting ready for Chag for the Zman Matan Teresinu, for the time of the receiving of the Torah. There's an incredible Pasuk. By the giving of the Torah, the Torah says that that event of the giving of the Torah, there was a cold god, there was a great sound. The Lo Yosef. There's different ways to interpret the word Lo Yosef. One is the word Lo Yosef from Lo Yosef, it'll never happen again. It was a one-time event. It was an amazing, incredible, seminal moment of God revealing himself to the Jewish people and revealing himself to the world. It's never going to happen again. But there's another way of explaining the word Velo Yosef. Velo Yosef means that it's never going to stop. And that that sound is going to continue and to reverberate. There are a lot of implications. But I think that it's a challenge to us. That we have to ask ourselves what that word means to us. On a personal level. Is Shavuos just a Lo Yosef? It's a one-time event. It's amazing. We put a lot of koiches into Shavuos. We go, we stay up all night. Some of us, we learn. We go to a shir or two. Shavuos special. A few extra pounds, a couple extra pieces of cheesecake. Special day. It's great. It feels good. And then it's over. And we go back to being who we were. This Sunday is going to be a Sunday, regular Sunday. Like any other Sunday. Or we can decide that this Shavuos is going to be like an explosion in our hearts, an explosion inside of us. And that all the dreams and the thoughts that we had about learning Torah and all the things that we had in our minds and our hearts about things we want to accomplish in Torah, even if it's not specific things to learn, but if it's ways to learn. I don't want to spend more time learning Torah. I want it to be more part of a part of my life, more essential part of my life. I can do that this Shavuos. Because this Shavuos can be for me a cold godel, can be an amazing sound, Lo Yosef, that never stops. It explodes on Thursday night. And then it seeps into my Shabbos. And then I emerge from Avdala, a different person. And Sunday is different, then Monday is different, then Tuesday is different. Because that explosion that took place inside of me on Shavuos was so illuminating, was so powerful, that I'm now holding it in a different place. What's the difference between those two Shavuoses? What we make of it. We can just celebrate Shavuos, commemorate the giving of the Torah, Shluf through Kriyas Torah, roll our eyes at Agdamas, say Yisker, and we made it through alive. Or we can celebrate and commemorate and relive the giving of the Torah, and it was become something that's real and alive in our lives, something that ignites us and moves us forward. Kol Gadol Velo Yosef. How we're going to translate that word Yosef in our lives. That's up to each and every one of us. We should have the Kayach to translate this Shavuos. Kol Gadol Velo Yosef. That it was a great sound. And that a day from now, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, Lo Yosef, it never stops. It just keeps going and getting stronger and stronger. We should have a beautiful Yantif, an illuminating Yantif, a Yantif that's ignited, and a Yantif that sees us take off and soar in our quest for Torah and for your Shemayim and the fear and the connection to God. Have a wonderful Yantif and a wonderful Shabbos.